When metal is in contact with moisture, an electrochemical reaction occurs, leading to metal loss. We call it rust. This damage creates potential health and safety issues, as well as expensive repair and or replacement costs. Corrosion costs approximately $2.5 trillion, or more than 3% of the global gross domestic product. But corrosion control practices can limit damage, saving $375 to $875 billion a year. How is corrosion identified and addressed? The science of corrosion prevention and control is highly complex because corrosion can be caused by many factors and it takes many different forms. What causes corrosion? Environmental factors can quickly deteriorate materials, especially metals. Exposure to salt water, humidity, and soil resistivity are three common factors that can increase the likelihood of corrosion formation. How is corrosion formed? Corrosion begins in the electrochemical cell. While there are some rare forms of high temperature corrosion, the majority of corrosion occurs when specific environmental, electrical, or chemical mechanisms cause the anode in the cell to corrode while the cathode does not. The resulting electrolytic paths and ionic current flows create a potential difference that drives corrosion. The elements that are common to all corrosion cells are an anode where oxidation and metal loss occur, a cathode where reduction and protective effects occur, metallic and electrolytic paths between the anode and the cathode through which electronic and ionic current flows, and a potential difference that drives the cell. Corrosion can be identified in one of three ways, visual examination, supplementary examination or testing, verification by microscopy. Once corrosion is identified, it can be classified as general corrosion, which is more or less uniform over an exposed surface, or localized corrosion, which occurs at discrete sites. There is also microbiologically influenced corrosion, or MIC, which occurs in the presence of fungi, bacteria, microalgae, and other microbiologically active materials like sewage. Identifying corrosion is the first step in preventing and mitigating damage. In the next videos, learn more about the forms of corrosion and how you can help control the process.